Welcome to the coolest stuff on the planet. Hey everyone, welcome to the coolest stuff on the planet. I'm Catherine. And I'm Rachel. And guess where we're going today? You tell me, Catherine. Well, we're going to go visit my hometown, Kingston, Jamaica. Are you excited? Oh, totally. Oh, I'm, cool. I've been ready all my life for this, Catherine. All right. I'm so glad to hear that. So first, let's set the stage a little bit for Kingston. Um, Kingston is the capital and really the commercial and cultural hub of Jamaica. Mm-hmm. The interesting thing about the city is that it's not really a very touristy city. It's not, it's not a city... If you were thinking of going to Jamaica, you might have first on your list. Right. Um, and there are a couple reasons for that. It's not really the beachy, resort side of Jamaica. Mm-hmm. And, and two, it kind of has a reputation for having a lot of crime. Is that right, Catherine? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, it really does have that reputation. But in truth, if you uh, stay out of certain areas, I would say you'd have a safe time. And what's interesting about Kingston is it's the cultural capital of Jamaica. So if you're interested in learning more about the country, this would be where I would start. Instead of just the beaches. Right, instead <laughs> of the beaches. Or maybe on your second trip after you've seen the beaches and you're like, what else is going on here, you know? Uh, Kingston has more than one million people living there. Very large city. And there are some interesting things that you can only see there. My favorite is uh, Devon House. And that's a, a mansion o- that was owned by George Stiebel, who was Jamaica's first black millionaire. And he made his money in the gold mines in Venezuela. And then he bought this house in 1881. It's been restored. There's a lot of antiques in there. And it's also popular as a place that people go to have their pictures taken after they've gotten married. They want to pose in front of a mansion like, this is my house. (laughs) (laughs) This is where they would go and take their pictures. Kingston is really the birthplace of reggae music, right? Yes. Yes, it is. So you were going to tell us about the home of, really the home of... The Dragon, actual home right? of Bob Marley. Of, yeah. <laughs> Not just the home, but the real, where he lived. Um, it's called the Bob Marley Museum today. And Bob Marley bought this in uh, 1975. He lived there until he died. And now it's been turned into a museum. So, And it's actually not that far away from Devon House, so you could actually do them on the same day if you were if you were in Kingston. When you go inside the house, you'll see his stage outfits, you'll see his gold records. And, you know, it's a pretty simple kind of house. It's not real fancy because, you know, Bob Marley, that's, that was his philosophy in life. So, um, you know, you, you would go upstairs. His bedroom is pretty much left as it was when he was there. Um, so it's definitely worth seeing if you're into reggae music. Okay, Catherine, can you tell me a little bit more about the food scene in Kingston? Like, what are your favorite restaurants and places to eat when you're there? Um, You have to have a patty if you're there. That's the cheeseburger of Jamaica. (laughs) And um, it's sort of, yeah, it's sort of like a a turnover, you would say, but it's stuffed with ground meat instead of fruit, you know. And it's very common there. You'd have that for lunch. And there's a chain there called Tasty Patty, which is very well known. So everybody, you can find it all over the city. And that's a place you could get a patty. And if you wanted something more upscale and other good places, uh, Red Bones, Jazz and Blues Cafe. And the food is more, you know, you'd say Novel cuisine, uh, Jamaican cuisine. And uh, they also have live music. So that's a nice place. I got outdoor seating. So that's another place you might want to check out. Cool. I know some people might want to know about jerk chicken because I didn't mention it yet. Um, You can get that also in Kingston. There's a a number of different places. But if you're lucky enough, uh, if you happen to be out late at night, they'll sell it in the nightclub area. They'll just sell it on the street. So after you've come come out at 2 or 3 in the morning, they'll start uh, cooking it outdoors and uh, you can go get some pot jerk chicken. Sounds good. I love yeah. street food. Yeah, definitely. Okay, so if you're not if you're not um, you know gorging your way through the city of <laughs> Kingston, like some of us would be, um, what else is there to do? Like, what is what do what do people do in Kingston? What's fun? Um, well, even though we don't have any beaches, one place that people in Kingston, if they just want a little sun and, and that kind of thing, um, they'll go out to Lime Key. And another place that people like to visit is uh, Blue Mountains. If you like to hike and you like... I do. Okay, well then you <laughs> might like this. Blue Mountains are, they pretty much ring the whole city of Kingston. And they're called that because when you look in the distance, they actually look blue. The hike takes you to the peak, which is about 7,000 feet up. And takes you about three to four hours. And uh, your goal is to get there around sunrise. So you can look out and see the clouds, the mist clearing. And, you know, you get a wonderful view of the whole uh, country. One other cool thing about the Blue Mountains is that that's where the famous Blue Mountain coffee is grown. And that is said to be some of the 
best coffee in the world, isn't that right, Catherine? Yes, it is. Um, it's very good. It's not that easy to find in the U.S. because most of the crop is exported to Japan. Oh, okay. But um, if you're lucky enough to find some, it'd probably be pretty expensive if you found it in the U.S. So if you're in Jamaica, you want to pick up a couple bags of it to take back with you, and you have lots of friends for life. <laughs> nice. Yeah. I feel like someone might have promised me that they would bring me Blue Mountain coffee. I wonder who that was. I don't know who that was, but <laughs> I'm still waiting for my Blue Mountain coffee. Well, you'll be getting it. <laughs> so I think that's all the time we have for on this episode of The Coolest Stuff on the Planet. Well, cool. Thank you so much for the tour, Catherine. That was awesome. You're welcome. And I'm sure we'll be coming back to Jamaica in the future. I hope we do. Um, but for now, we'll see you next time for more cool stuff on the planet. For more on this and thousands of other topics, visit HowStuffWorks.com. And let us know what you think. Email travelpodcast at HowStuffWorks.com. Don't forget to check out our other podcasts free on iTunes. <laughs> <laughs>